YouTube, oh my god, hey y'all. I had to jump on right now because oh, you guys don't even know. In the OCG, like last night, they they released this that they're releasing a new Dark World structure deck now. I don't know if you're aware, but it's been kind of like 10 years maybe since we've had, I think, any meaningful Dark World support. Um, and if you're not aware, I have Grapha tattooed on my leg. So this is kind of a big deal for me. Grapha is like my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card in like ever. So I was looking at this last night, Devil's Gate structure deck. And, you know, I'm not really sure what the meta is in the TCG or what the meta is in the OCG. I know they just rune splites. Um, so I was going into this, um, you know, I, I really only know Master Duel. But I wanted to look at this because I think it's a little bit off the screen. Let me fix it. Oh, no, it's fine. I wanted to look at this and I was looking at it and I'm going to tell you, it sounds pretty good to me. Now, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but at first glance, it sounds pretty good to me. Um, so Rain, Devil King of Dark World, he's he's OK. Uh, but the big part about him, like without reading all the crazy text, like boringly, is that he searches Grapha. Now, not only does he search Grapha, but when you put when you have a dark, he gets summoned just like Grapha, too. So if you have a level seven or lower dark world monster, you could return it to your hand and then summon him from the graveyard. And then when he's discarded by a card effect, you can add one level five or higher dark world monster from your deck to your hand, except for rain Supreme King, which is the rainbow. Yeah. Which is the other one rainbow Supreme King of dark world. And then if it was discarded by your opponent's effect, you could special summon a level four or lower dark world monster from your deck or graveyard to either field. So that comes with the little one. I should have been prepared for this, but I got excited. So Ceruli, I think his name is. Ceruli, where's Ceruli? There. So you'd be able to summon him to your opponent's side of the field, and then that makes you discard a card, but it's your opponent making you discard a card to gain your extra effect. And what I found with this structure deck is that it's really enabling forcing your opponent to make you discard a card so you get all your extra effects. So he's pretty good. He searches Grapha, which is like a pretty big deal because like there's almost no other way to do that unless something else came out that I'm unaware of. Um, Dark World Puppet. I was really, I, I started reading this. I was getting very excited. So target up to three cards in any graveyard and banish them then discard a fiend monster so just the discard is great but it's up to three so it doesn't have to be three so you could just choose two out of your opponent's graveyard which is just awesome and then during the main phase except for the turn you used it so it would have to be a different turn you could banish this card from the graveyard target a banished fiend monster and add it to your hand so the field spell here removes a card from your graveyard and then you discard a card. So you end up with a lot of removed cards. So that is really awesome. Also, um, you know, people would DD Crow your Grapho when it tries to come back. Um, all kinds of things to remove your monsters and they're useless to you in the banished pile. So getting one back to your hand is just, oh, sweet. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. Oh! They gave him a fusion! What the hell? So can someone tell me what is that? Is that a head? What is that? I can't tell what that is. He's got like a bunch of arms and legs here. Poor guy. They just like took him, they took him off his body and slapped him on another person's body. What is that? It, is it a leg? I can't, I don't even, is it a head? Is it someone else's head? Please tell me in the comments because it's driving me nuts. All right, fusion. That uses Grapha and a dark monster. Oh my god. This is this is such a good card, I think. It's a it's a negate. It's oh god, it's great. Okay, I'll just read it to you. When your opponent activates a normal spell, trap card, or monster's effect, so not a counter trap, not a quick play spell, but a normal spell or trap card or a monster's effect, and his effect is a quick effect, you can make the effect become 
your opponent discards one card. So that's great because every Dark World, if you're not aware, gets an extra effect when your opponent discards it from you. So not only did you negate their effect, not only did you stop something crazy, you are now discarding a card. And if you don't know, that could be disastrous. So then his other effect, he got two effects because one effect was not good enough. It had to be two. If this fusion summon card leaves the field by your opponent, so if they attack over it, if they destroy it, whatever, you could special summon a Grapha from, I think this is like, this is Spanish. That is banished. You can special summon a Grapha that is banished or in your graveyard. And then each play, you discard another card, bro. Oh my God. This makes me so happy because like the only way to play this deck in Master Duel is like Dan dangers, danger, dark world. That's dumb. That's stupid as hell. I don't like it. So oh, I know it won't be like years until we see this, but like I have a reason to live for like the next two years and it's not even over. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, this one is real. This is the fusion card. This is how you summon Grapha Dragon God King of Dark World. Oh. And it's a quick play. Oh, God, why did they do this to me? I'm so happy. All right. You can only use the first and second effect once per turn. So you can't just activate both all willy-nilly. But you can use one or two, which is the other ones in the graveyard. So it's okay. So if you, if you fusion this turn, you can only use the graveyard effect next turn. So during the main phase, fusion summon a fiend monster from your extra deck by banishing the fusion materials from your field or a graveyard, which is great. So just not your hand, but graveyard is great. And we are banishing the monsters, and the other card gets banished monsters back to your hand. Do you see the do you see what I'm do you see what I'm saying? You see what's going on here? Alright. If it's a dark world fusion monster, you can discard monsters from your hand as material. So only if it's dark world, you can discard your cards. So you could, in theory, stay with me here. You could discard two graphas, pop two cards. You could discard a Grapha and a Rain. You could pop a card, search a Grapha, or really anything you wanted. You could discard Grapha and a Snow, and you could search the Field Spell or any other. So these have Dark World in her name. You could search Dark World Puppet with the Snow. That's why she's in the picture. God. And then you summon it. Then it has its effect in the graveyard. So if this card is in your graveyard, you could add it to your hand and discard a Dark World monster. So you, the discards, there's so much here. So yeah, these are translations, so they might be a little rough. Um, but holy crap, man. Those are so good. Like, you know, this one's a little, you know, maybe a, maybe not playing a lot of him, but he is a searcher for Grapha and you're obviously gonna need Grapha in your hand or in the graveyard if you wanna summon Grapha Dragon God King of Dark World. This is great. I mean, I, I think I'm very excited about these cards. Like I said, I'm not like super aware of the meta, so I don't know if this is going to do anything or not um, at the time that it comes out. But, oh, these are, these are all good. Like, all good, especially like, you know, usually cards in the graveyard are a problem for everyone. Not really so much like, so like, what's in Sword Soul right now? Vishu, Vishuda? Vishula? V Vishy? The red one that that like puts stuff back to your hand that's really annoying um i don't know what splite did in the graveyard i don't know if they did anything but cards in the graveyard are usually a problem that's why people play like lancia dd crow some some stuff like that um but man and even like tri brigade don't they like uh use their trap card and summon everything from the graveyard so you could chain this remove the cards from the graveyard and then it's really the discards in this that are so good. Because we were playing stuff like Trance Archfiend back in the day just to just to pray to God that we could discard a card. And then card destruction got banned. Um, so that was uh, very upsetting. Um, and then now you have the danger cards. But like, it's so... I look at the danger Dark World decks and they're not really Dark World decks. They're more danger with like a little bit of Dark World. You like maybe tech a Grapha in there at some point. And it's like, eh, I don't like it. But th this is great. Oh my god, this is great support. This is crazy. This is so good. 
Like, I always be like, why isn't the deck good? And the answer is usually like, oh, they don't set up any negates. We're setting up a negate! <sighs> All right. I just had hop on really quick. All right, I have to go somewhere, but I, I needed to be here. I needed to, to witness this moment. This is great. I love you guys. Tell me what you think. Did you guys like Dark World? Were you alive when the first Dark World structure deck came out? Or were you not born yet? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.